Right, where are you off now, Masha? McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> We've put the flooring down and we already know which one we like the best. Oh no, I like the red wine in the fridge. It preserves it. Don't taste like shame when it's old. Good morning from the office. Nice pants. <laughs> I think they'll all be dry now. What a nice way to start a vlog, um, feeling my underpants to see if they're dry. I like the fact that I can shout down to you, coffee please, yeah, coffee please sir, coffee please, coffee sir. please sir, coffee please sir. So Nick's put a uh, diffuser out to make the apartment smell like the lodge. It doesn't smell of anything at the Nick's, it's such a smoky. Yeah, you might have to get yeah, more, yeah. more. Um, so we are just waiting for the management company to come in five minutes um, to have another look at this leak which uh, obviously needs sorting uh, before we get any um, new carpet in. You can see more on the vlog actually where it's been leaking on the carpet there. Um, but, um, it's been leaking for some time. Yeah. Well, look at the thing. Yeah, that's it's what we're just showing. You. So, all the way down the roof. Hopefully, that's going to be sorted without having to rip the roof out because that'll be annoying. Well, I think, yeah, here, look, yeah, yeah, here, yeah. The apartment, the apartment upstairs, there. I know, you said this on last yesterday's vlog, I've just edited that well, scene. Whatever. Um, so I know I showed you this yesterday, but that's what it looks like in the light. Oh, Nick's just put a light on. Yeah, that bit's finished as we said yesterday. Not a bit. Um, I need some um, coat hangers today. Well, I've got nothing to hang my clothes up with. This. this is the um, built in wardrobe. So we've got a shoe rack in there um, and a shelf up there. It's quite large actually, I just need some coat hangers. We've got ourselves a new mattress yesterday. Sorry, not mattress, duvet yesterday. King size 32 pound from Dunnell Mills. And um, let me just stick that up there. Because we got this Silent Night one, didn't we? From Amazon. And you think Silent Night is a good brand, but it's it's oh, yes. horrid. It's horrible. So it was a cheap one. We've got lots to do today, you were saying. So first thing, he's gotta come. Then we've got your mum visiting. My, my sister, my mum and Masha are coming to have a look at the apartment. When they've gone. We've got to go to a wholesaler's to get some bits. I need another seven tins of paint. I've worked it out because this has used one tin and I've not even given it the last coat It's going to use a lot of paint because obviously... Are we painting in there? No. We're not painting here no. because... Done. Yeah, and it's very dark in here with no window. But I do like it. It reminds me of being on holiday in an uh, apartment in Spain. Yeah, you know not, I mean? not, not feeling that. Oh, well. I want um, spotlights putting in here. Yeah, it's dark. So when it's we have the bathrooms redone, the lot to dig the, the, the power up to the roof and then put some spotlights in. So no paint here, but we do need some storage because there's none. No shelf. Not even a That's shelf. All. So I'm going to have to sort that out. Maybe, you know those nice things that you see at Next, like round things where you can put things on? Do you know what I mean? No. I quite like them. And then all the way in here is going to be painted grey. All the way down there, the banisters will be gloss white. Every white wall is going to be painted grey, basically. Oh, so. And I've ordered the fire doors now. Yeah. So apparently this was a this is an FD30. So if this is one then everyone else is. So I've ordered them so they will be here some point either this week or next. We finally got used to that being a short like kind of hobbit door, haven't we? Smashed my head so many times. When we first moved in, I actually cracked my head on there. Nick cracked his head and he thought he'd chipped his teeth he oh, did wait. it that badly. <laughs> I stood up. Um today we're gonna get a clothes horse. So I no longer have to put um, underwear. Clothes horse. Well, what do you call them? A laundry area. Which century are you from? Shut up. Nick needs to sort all these PCs out. These are what we had left over from our, uh, our company. Um, so there's like Sazzle's PC there, there's my PC, what I used to use. So you're just going to make one good PC out of all these old ones? They're all crap, I just need to set the hard drive out and wipe them and then they can be binned. Okay. What are you doing here, Masha? Hmm? What are you doing here? She's invaded. What's this rubbish you're watching on YouTube? Nothing. Hmm? It's not our watch. It's not us. <laughs> it's not our rubbish. What have you been doing? Pull your skirt down. You've, you've started school now, haven't you? No, yeah. Yes, you have. What's your favourite bit of school? Coming home. That was my favourite bit. Lunch. Your lunch? Yeah. And what have you been having for school dinners? Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza? That's Uncle Nick's favourite. Yeah, we've got pineapple on. No. we with pineapple on, it's nice. These floors are really slippy, you know. I can drag you around them. 
Huh? Right, where are you off now, Masha? McDonald's. McDonald's. Are you gonna say are you gonna say goodbye, Uncle Dick? No, we're not. Why not? We'll get some food from our wholesaler where we're going now for more paint. That'll be a delicious. Are you gonna say goodbye to Masha? I think she wants pulling round. You want pulling round again, Masha? No. You do. Bye. 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 What are you take? What are you taking home there, Masha? What are you taking home? Put your shoes on. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Where have you got that? Chunky Kit Kat. Dough. Where have you got that? It was one of my birthday presents from have Sandy. You got that I'm out so sure. You little sneak. <laughs> right, Masha's on her way home. Um, we are going to a local trade place to get some more um, paint now because Nick realizes after painting one wall that we need far much more paint. It, was, it takes at least three coats and um, we're going to need more We've paint. got a lot of walls to do. Yeah, we've got a lot of walls to do. Um, so we're going to go there. We've got a couple of other bits that we're going to pick up. I need some coat hangers because I've nowhere to hang any of my clothes. I need a clothes horse or what do you call them? Clothes rack. A laundry area. Laundry area. I sure. always call them. Who calls them a clothes horse and who calls them a laundry area? Well, I can just guarantee that people that call it a clothes horse are over 60. Well, I'm only in my very early 40s and I call it a clothes horse, so there. Um, so, we're going to go there and I need... What else do we need? Uh, we'll mooch around because... We there's... need a spot, we need a GU10 connector because I nicked one out on the light to make the bathroom lights work. I could do with a couple of gin glasses and all and some we wine glasses. We need some wine glasses and some gin glasses. We need... Um... It's like starting again from fresh. We are. Because um, we got rid of a lot of stuff, obviously, when we were downsizing. Because um, we've we, been things like this away. We did okay. bin things. And Batty Brenda came up and nicked them all. Yeah, but there were some bit like old knives and forks that were mismatching. Yeah, 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 we yeah, binned yeah. all stuff like that. We knew we were going to start again on certain things like glasses that we'd had for years. Yeah. Um, we've just not got, got around to, to buying them. Uh, but now we're in the two bedroom apartment. The thing we can um, buy and start buying it again. Yeah. And um, what time is it? Quarter past 12. A little peckish. Oh, you greedy swine. You've just had a packet of crisps. No, I've not. Yeah, I, had a share, couple, I had a couple of your hula hoops. Share them, I had a handful. And you've had them and a yoghurt, so don't be getting on at me. I had a slice of toast for breakfast. And some and a yoghurt. Yeah, that's it. Right, we've been to the wholesalers and we've also been to our place where our furniture's stored and we've got these little cabinets that we put in back into storage when we left in July. Um, we're taking them back to the apartment because we need a temporary TV stand until the one from next turns up. New TV tomorrow! Um, so we've literally got paint, clothes errors, all sorts of stuff. Don't worry, in the boot. don't worry lodges, I'll do a proper haul when we get back. And um, we are getting our broadband fitted tomorrow hopefully. So I've just picked up um, a spare router from our lock up on this side of the Pennines. So hopefully I can just plug that straight in and it'll just work when the engineer does his things in the morning. Oh, and just, then we'll have broadband. <laughs> it's so nice when everything's done, even though it's going to be months months of doing up an apartment, which is exciting and it's good for the yeah, thing is I'm frustrated and I want to get it all done straight away. <laughs> Oh, we've got some. We've got some laminate floor samples as well. Oh yeah. I'll one's that. really cheap. One's really expensive, and we're torn because the expensive one is the one we like. So we'll show yeah. you when we get back to the apartment. Yeah, we're not sure until we get back there. And also, this we're place, not going to show you now. This place where we went shopping, the cafe was closed for COVID. Yeah. Bloody COVID. Well, you'd get worse than COVID in that cafe anyway. So. The one major trouble with living in an apartment, we've realised, is getting things up into the lifts and up. It takes forever. I'm absolutely loving <laughs> So, we've put the flooring down and we already know which one we like the best. We like the lighter grey one. That's just too dark. Unfortunately, that's double the price. Unfortunately as well, that this is on top of the current laminate and if we put it underneath it, there'll be a big gap under the skirting board and there's already a gap now. So, but well, I do like that colour. I mean, maybe not that particular one, but um, maybe we can find one. You know, a cheaper one than yeah, so is, this is like the base. We can't go any darker than no, that. No, I like that. I really like that. That is too dark. That one, it's really dark. It's a bluey color and all. It's like a, it's not a warm gray. So these are the cabinets that we brought to stand the TV on until the TV cabinet comes. You may remember them from lockdown. Right, you're gonna do some for Vera for his dinner. This would be a real problem, I think, getting it over them steps because Nick's thinking and contemplating on doing it all himself. I am doing it myself. Because mm. it would be another 500 quid for someone to fit it. Yeah, I know. 
don't fancy doing it down them steps though. Right? Put it on one of the steps, just, just as if it was a step. There you go. I, want, I just wanted to see what it looked like against the um, the tiles that you don't like. Well, I would actually put it on the tiles and go up and extend down. Okay, lunchtime. The kitchen as well. Don't forget today's secret ingredient. <gasps> oh, <Ooh>. where is it? <laughs> just there, I can see it. Got it yesterday, so in yesterday's vlog. JD. Jack Daniels barbecue glaze. Now, um, we have two Jades, our friends, and they both said, don't get your hopes up, it's not quite, nowhere near as nice as anything you get at TGI's. Oh, well. Not TGI's. It's been that long since I've had that at TGI's. But, um, now it's a cup of tea. We are looking forward to it, and we are Marvin. Cup of tea for you, sir. Please. What um, is it like then? Mm. JD sauce. It's a very close second. Much there's not. I, mean, I don't think. I, don't, I think it's like um, you're supposed to like marinate things in it, aren't you? No. I thought it were marinated. No. Mm. Mm. I don't think so. There's your cup of tea. You got a right um, bill. You've got a builder's tan. I don't know. T-shirt tan. T-shirt tan, yeah. And you've got grey paint all down your hair at back. I know. I've got a lot more than on my back. But not on your back, on your head at back. I know. Because I've been going like this. Right. Like this. So it's been getting on my hair. And before anybody wonders, no, I've not been sat doing nothing. I've been doing a lot of stuff, actually. What have you been doing? Don't you try and start and get me in trouble. Eh? I've been doing a lot of uh, email and patron work and basically desk work, just because mine hasn't been manual. Doesn't make it any less important. Well, if you finish now, I'm nowhere near finished, so get yourself a brush. Strip off. I'm coming out. I'm going to show everybody what we got today and I'm going to start sorting it all out. Go on, right, these are some of the things we got today. So, as you know, we've been drinking out of very small glasses. Stop Don't kill me! Stop making noise, you! Don't kill me! We've been drinking out of very small glasses because we bought some and we didn't realise they were that small. So, and we had no gin glasses or wine glasses. So, these are what we got today. So, we've just got four tumblers, or they're called. Uh, what are they called? Beer World Beer Willy Bell Besher or something. Willy Besher. So <laughs> that's uh, better for us drinking those. And then Nick picked these gin and wine glasses. So there's some gin glasses. Four of those and four wine glasses which are quite large. Almost like the gin glasses. But uh, more um, in at the bottom. What are you making noise for now? I wish you'd get some clothes on then I can turn the camera around. Um, so I'm just going to rinse them through and since we've no storage at all for glasses I've had to move the microwave across a little bit and I'm just going to put all the glasses there until we've got it painted in here then we're going to have probably two shelves there and one shelf there. Right next job, I bought this today, it was only 99 pence, a medium folding box in grey and um, it's for all this stuff because as I said before there's no storage in here uh, as yet. So. Gonna put all that in that. I got medium, but may, I'm thinking maybe I should have got large. But we'll see. Okay, that kind of worked, but because it said medium, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than that. So I could have done with two. So it's got all well seems and portions on, which has made it a lot. Um, neater up there, but definitely need two or three. I was hoping to get like all the uh, bog rolls in, but I need another one for the bog rolls. Need to go back to that shop, Nick? No. Nick's kind of let me try some of his beer. When I said try, I mean have a whole glass of it in the nice new glasses. So a couple of more things that we got today. We got another multi-purpose knife, and I got it in white, so it matches the new kitchen. Um, so this is the knife that Nick uses all the time to cut all sorts of stuff. And everybody sort of moans in the comments like, why are you using that to cut, like a bread knife, to cut everything in? Um, well it's not, it's a multi purpose Bless you! It's a multi-purpose knife and it can cut everything, fruit, meat, veg, all sorts. So if you don't want to spend too much on knives, just get one of those and it's great for all sorts and it comes in various different colours so it can match your lodge or apartment, whatever. Then we got this, uh, a new garlic press. We wanted one of those, like, you know what I mean, like we've got somewhere else at the uh, lodge but we couldn't find any. And then, exciting, finally got myself some of these 
smart keys. They're only 99 pence. I've wanted some of these for a while. And you didn't have a clue what it was, did you? Well, waste some money. Don't be stupid. You, you want bacteria in your hands anyway, so what's the point? So when I'm going somewhere, especially when you go to the loo these days, if it's like a public toilet, you just put your finger through there, hook it onto the handle, and open it so you don't have to touch it. I got you one too. I got one, thank you. Tonight's meal, cooked by moi, uh, is um, kind of provided by um, Muscle Foods. So, oops, it's steamed up. I'm having black bean chicken protein pot, and Nick is having Korean spicy protein pot. So I've uh, just slaved for so long over these. There's only 300 calories in these. And there you go. Korean spicy. Don't oh, say I never just make it anything. Oh, Amazon, yeah, well. Mm, our TV, our new TV, was supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Um, but it's now saying, expecting dispatch, is it saying? Preparing for dispatch. Preparing for dispatch. Unless it's on a next day um, delivery, we ain't going to be getting it tomorrow. Which is a well, bit of a delivery, which we paid extra for. Oh, did we? Oh, so uh, it should come tomorrow then. Um, so we put the um, temporary TV units out, which is nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Ikea magazine, which I might have a look at later. And uh, beer. Have you finished painting for tonight? Are you going to do some more? Well, they've they said it will be delivered on the schedule date. Oh, good. That one I'm about to launch now. Sick of this. Next job, what is it? Wash my beer. Then wash my beer. What's happening? Now we need to take up. I need to put the vinyl against this laminate to see whether it's going to leave a gap under the skirting board because that's going to be a problem because I absolutely love the flooring that we've picked. I best go and get it then, I? you've left it upstairs. Oh, God. Whilst I'm going up, I'll um, check. Well, the leak, first of all, is going fine. Oh, we didn't mention the leak. I'll uh, tell you what happened with that earlier. Hang on a minute. Where's the frigging light bulb? Oh, there we go. Um, it's had a third coat, so it's drying now, and then um, that's this room almost done. Almost. Um, what did I call for? Oh yeah, the, um, the laminate. So that's what it's going to look like against grey. So that's what it's going to be like. So it makes such a difference when you can't see like the old stuff. Right, so there you go. Right, can you tin the paint? Because I'm going to take up this floor now. Two seconds. I just want to, while I remember, uh, update everyone on the leak. So, good news is that they've found where the leak is coming from. Um, it's coming from uh, the upstairs apartment. Was it a washer or something? Washer sink, I think. The sink. So wash it or sink. Wash it or sink. Um, the bad news is they can't get into the upstairs apartment at the moment um, because it's a health care worker and they are waiting on their weekly or something COVID tests coming back. So they're not allowed to let anybody in until it comes back negative. So hopefully, free now. Hopefully that will happen on Monday and then the leak will be gone. Mm. Will this not go back down once you've done this? No. Well, we're definitely getting rid of it then. We are definitely getting rid of it. But you're getting rid of the whole, the whole panel. You sure we shouldn't just get somebody in to do it for us? Do what? Well, the flooring. Well, I'm testing to see whether this is going to need lifting up. So exciting news. Tomorrow I'm going to be painting all day. Finally. Well, I'm bored of painting now. Yeah, well, I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, so you're right. You can watch me in my underpants. <clears throat> Woo. So, how do you not realise we don't like this flooring? Well, it's too freaking late now because it's gone. And we're getting rid of it. What's your thoughts now, after an hour of looking oh, at it? I think I want another beer. Right, so the problem we've got now we have a 15 millimeter gap under the skirting board. If we put the vinyl down without any padding, there's a big gap like that, which looks daft. However, Screwfix do some fiber boards, some wood fiber boards, which are five mil high. So that closes that gap by five mil. So if I put these two together, which are just pieces of foam, 
and put them in that gap, they're basically about six mil. It wouldn't be foam though, would it be? No, it'd be, it'd be like wood. If I put them together and I press, there's an acceptable gap there because you've got to have an expansion gap. Yeah, which is less than this gap over here. So your, your job now is to find got this the fire on. cheap and order 21 packs of it. Let's go sort the bedroom out. Bit of paint. I told you not to paint in, you, in like oh. your t-shirt and your shorts. I'm knocking now. I'm sick of DIY. Let's just get a decorator in. Right, I'm going to let you have the honour of cleaning up. Lovely. Let's get the um, excess paint off. I might have a glass of red wine. I think I might. Shall we do it? Oh. Shall we open it? Hello? Why is one of those lights not working? I'm speaking! What? Shall we what? Shall we open it? Kylie? Yeah. No. Wait, you want a glass of red wine? I do, but not that stuff. Well, it's nine pound a bottle, it's Kylie red oh, wine. Come on, then, pack it open. Come on. We're going to be testing his new wine glasses. New wine glasses for a spot of Kylie Minogue. Go on then. I'm just eating a Twix finger. Here we go, Kylie. Let's see how she tastes. Well, we'll just have a little spot of... Better the devil you know. Mmm. -hmm. Come on. Let's the only trouble with these... Let's this and do the locomotion. The only trouble with these two... Um... How much are you putting in half a pint? Well, that's what I mean. The only trouble with these... <gasps> It's not a pint, you pull this ball. Well, no. you've just put half of it in. I told you not to get them big glasses, they're like gin glasses, so you don't. You, you don't, don't realize, have to fill them up. You don't realize what you're pouring. Well, you don't mind. Right, let me have a taste. As soon as it's my birthday wine. Go on then. Put Kyle in your mouth. They're massive, these glasses. Well. It's all right. I'm thinking it shouldn't have gone in the fridge. Oh no, I like red wine in the fridge. It preserves it. Don't taste like shame when it's old. Mmm, Kylie, it smells delicious. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good morning, good morning. It's the next day. Morning, and what's just day. happened? Where's my coffee? We have got a coffee. What's just happened? Half past six this morning, we got a message on the phone. That's the, the TV was being delivered, which is in the hall, which you'll see on the next block. Yeah, so we're going to finish the block. In minutes time, BT are going to um, install broadband. I better get myself in shower then, aren't I? Best dad, I'm done at the screen. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow when we have a brand new TV. We can finally watch something other than the portable. Might be a bit big, actually. It's huge. Get coffee on. Ain't got a coffee.